Hey everybody, Steven here for Entropic Gaming, and today I'm going to be playing Kerbal Space Program. Um, this is a game that's been interesting looking to me. I've filled with it a little bit and just messing around, not trying too much in the past, but I've never actually given it like a really concerted try. So I figured that I would go ahead and give it a go for you guys, for the channel. Um, I will warn you all that I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Especially when it comes to like all the like high end physics and trajectories and crap for the space stuff. I guarantee you that I will be doing terribly at this. Stuff will probably be blowing up all the time and I pro I might get frustrated. Regardless, it should be a pretty good time. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Well start a game. Um I think there's a start new maybe I should do training. I should probably do training, shouldn't I? Yeah, I'll do training. Oh wow, that's a lot of training. Uh, wow. Well, let's get this over with then. Alright. I don't remember this from before, so this might be new. Basic construction. Welcome to today's lecture on vessel construction. I'm Werner von Kerman. Whether you want to put a satellite into orbit, make a transcontinental flight, or step onto the very surface of the moon, you're going to need to build yourself a ship. It should be pretty easy even if you're not a famous rocket scientist like myself. In this tutorial, I will first show you around the Kerbal Space Center, then take you to the vehicle assembly building where you'll learn how to construct a simple ship. We'll cover adding and removing parts, what the parts do, how to change the performance settings of the parts which have that option, and how to control staging. At the end of the tutorial, you will have a craft fit for a quick hop from the launch pad. At each step, I will lock out all controls other than the ones you need for that step. If you still manage to mess up, it took even me some time to become as skilled as I am now, you can press the back button to go back and fix things. It won't light up unless you do mess up. We are now at the Kerbal Space Center. It will give you, I'll give you a quick rundown on how to get around. The KSC, for short, is home to the pinnacle of Kerbal Endeavor and achievements for space exploration. Using the facilities you can see here, you will be able to manage your space program, create rockets and planes, track your Kerbal explorers as they roam the solar system, find exciting new uses for explosive substances, and in case of emergency, hire more Kerbals. I'm going to be doing that a lot, I bet. To find out about each of the facilities, you can hover your mouse over them or the facilities buttons. They show you up when the cursor is outside this window. Um, if you need to repair a structure or upgrade them in career, you can do this by right-clicking them. Take some time to hover the mouse over the buildings and see what they each are. And when you're ready, enter the vehicle assembly building. So we got the launch pad, the tracking station, mission control, space plane hangar, astronaut complex, administration building, research and development. And vehicle assembly building, which is what I thought that was. It looked like the giant thing. All right. Let's go there. Let's get this started. Inside the VAB. Very good. What you see in the middle of the screen is the construction area. This is where parts are placed and your craft is constructed. On the left side of the screen is the parts toolbox. It will show you show all the parts you have available in each of the different categories. Once there are any to pick that pick that is. Select a command module. If you want your craft to be controllable, you need a command module, and it's best to make it the first part you place. This part will either contain some plucky Kerbal crew or an automated pilot mechanism. As we're just starting, there's only one choice. Go ahead and pick that command module from the pods tab. Let's see. Pods. Mark one command module. After at least one part is placed, you can look around with the following command or controls. Or with the camera. Move the camera up and down. Or zoom the camera. Alright, next. Adding a parachute. If you'd like your pilot to be able to make more than one flight, he or she will have to return safely to the ground, or water, on Kerbin. Parachutes are a simple way to make sure that happens. They can be found in the Utility tab. Change tabs by clicking their icons on the left part of the parts list. Alright, utilities, 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 utility. 
When you're choosing parts, you can view them. You can view the details of available parts by hovering over them in the toolbox. When the info is visible, most parts have an additional information window which can be opened. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, I'm not going to keep reading all of this. I uh, thought the Mark 19 parachute. And drag it to the top. There we go. And next. Some parts have some few op options. Right click on the parachute. Alright. Oh, let's check that open height on the suit is at least a thousand meters because safety is the curb away after all. For the main pressure slider, move it a bit to the right to 0 0.02. Uh. The same prevents the chute from activating until the atmosphere pressure is above the configured value. On curb and. 0.2. Oh, 0.2. Point two is about nine kilometers in altitude. So even if you stage early and arm the parachute, it will wait until then to activate. Activate. All right. Next up, we are going to need something to make us go. Click on the engines tab. Engines. To the available engines and solid rocket motors. Grab one. There we go. And you may need to zoom or move the camera to be able to do so. Alright, next up we need something to make discuss. So next. Oops, I forgot that you're just starting out. You're not a famous rocket scientist. And to make that craft survivable as it stands now, you'd have to be better at rocket science than me. Ha! Impossible! The problem with that craft is that this solid rocket is too powerful for the payload. A single small pod and shoot. It will either burn up on ascent from going too fast, or burn up coming back down. Even if you survive that, the craft's mass will cause it to fall too fast for the parachute to operate properly. You'd hit the, and you'd hit the surface before it could stop you. Okay, I promise to teach you how to change that to make it work in a later tutorial, but for now let's continue. Well, at least this way I get to tell you about removing parts. Pick up the back thump, the BAC thumper, and either drop it back over the parts toolbox or press delete. The right solid motor. Instead, let's add the solid motor that's a better match for a ship of this size. At the start of your career, you will likely have what I consider rubbish parts. Literally, the motor here looks like, and may well be, a converted trash can. That said, it does have enough oomph to get this little craft moving skyward, and quickly. As you progress, you will be able to unlock more engines. For now, let's pick up the RT-5 Flea. Alright, connect to the bottom of the pod. The staging stack. Nice one, you built the simplest survivable craft possible. We could go launch this right now, but it might be safer to explain one other thing first. At the bottom right, you will see the staging stack. It's the box with the number zero and icons. Uh, it's part of our rocket, I said rocket. Oh, what this shows is that when we activate the next day, da 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 da, will be triggered. What would be considered funny to open a shoot and fire the motor at the same time, it's not going to give you much of a flight. So we add another stage. All right. Yeah, from the highest number to the lowest. So our first stage will be one, the engine. The second stage will be two, the shoot. And from now on that, there you go. Save it for there. That's it. We now have a safe, well, relatively safe, craft that's ready to go. Let's make sure that if we need this design again, we don't have to build it all from scratch. Why don't you change it so that something more your style? Oh, whoops. Basic. Cr basic. One man rocket. We have the name. Click save. I put in the upper left. Next. Excellent work. Let's play around. Da, ready to continue. Press the red button, upper right to exit. All right. Moon or bust? That looks busty, but let's do some more training. So basic flight. Welcome. Welcome to the Kerbal Space Center Launch Facility. I'm Gene Kerman, and I will teach you the basics of piloting a spacecraft. 
I trust you already checked the basic instruction tutorial. If not, I recommend you do so before going through this one. Uh, I'll, I'll, let's go through, run through all the important controls for your spacecraft. A little hopper from your basic lesson where we may not have all of them, but we'll do a full run through once and see how it flies. Flying spacecraft is all about being in control of a generally very chaotic situation. As a pilot, your main flight controls will affect the pitch, yaw, and roll of the ship. Let's look at those first. Pitch, yaw, and roll are the three directions you, you will rotate your craft. To help you visualize, you've taken a holiday snap of the hopper below. So yaw is basically turning it, pitch is tilting, and then roll is just to roll. Alright. So S and W, that's our pitch up and down. A and D is yaw left and right. Okay, so Q and E are roll. Okay, yep, that makes sense. All right. Throttle, push pitch, yaw, and roll are the main controls you need to master for successful crash review flight. Okay, well, the throttle for now has this vessel. It has no need for it. Don't worry, I'll explain it another time. Uh, Affecting so bigger, heavier ships will probably respond much more sluggishly than a little small one. Easy to control as I go through stages. All right, flight controls. In flight, all the planning you put into the stage of your ship comes into play. All right, so we just have to. The ship is already where it's going. That's why a good pilot is always aware of the ship's altitude, where it's pointing. Oh, the ship's attitude. Is that attitude? Where it's pointing? And velocity vector, where it's going. That's critical vision need for proper death free flight. <laughs> Altimeter vertical speed indicator and atmosphere gauges. Altimeter will show this is the surface at sea level. Your vertical speed indicator shows how quickly your radical is changing. <laughs> when launching, it's best to keep this gauge pointing up. Atmosphere gauge. Alright, cool. I got a green light. In the stage deck, you'll see the indicator for your parachute. This will. It shows when the chute will be activated by staging. You already know that but the background will also change color to indicate when it's safe to stage the parachute. In the foreground, the parachute of the icon itself will change color. Safe, risky, unsafe. Staging armed, deployed, and cut shredded. Alright, cool. I'll have the flight controls. Well, we're up. Let's see if the stage your shoot. Oh, way there. Our atmosphere's altitude's going up still, although eight, nine, five. Ooh, your sound motor is burned out, you're passing a post to size point flight, and your speed is low enough that it's safe to stage again and deploy the parachute. You arm the parachute. Now time to wait to get low enough and slow down enough for it to deploy safely. There we go. And now we sit back and enjoy the descent. Oh, we went up. We're coming back down. We didn't die. Call that an accomplishment. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, come on. Go ahead and land. We'll get on to the next bit. Sploosh. What are you? 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 I don't know what that is. I'm curious what it is. 
and open and down we go really you go even slower now da ah! Land already! <laughs> Get impatient. Not good for my kerbals. <sighs> do ba do ba do. I don't want. Come on, land. Four. Th Three. Fifty. Twenty. 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, boost! Water! Well done, you started your first quick flight. And click the recover button. Recover vessel. Done. Valentina Kerman. Alright, end scenario. I, well, I'm getting bored of the tutorial, so I am going to go ahead and we'll fire up a, a career game. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm going to die horribly, but I don't care. I'll probably go and play through more tutorials off recording and get the rest of those out of the way because this isn't that funny. Difficulty options. Easy, because I am a nub. Their prizes. There we go. Let's do this. Enough of that boring tutorial. If informative. It's me, Gene Kerman, flight director, and I'll guide for clear deductions. Space Center. Da -da 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 -da. Whoop. Alright. Vehicle assembly. Got it. That's the tracking station. <laughs> Got it. All right. Space plane hangar. Got anything for that? I don't think. Yep, nothing there. Research and development. Start research. Basic rocketry or engineering 101. All right. Astronaut complex. Active Kerbals. Jebediah. Bill. Bob. And Valentina. Applicants and stuff too. Got no idea what to do with those, but I'll figure it out, or I'll die horribly. All right, so we got Mortimer Kerman for finances, Linus Kerman, Gus Kerman operations. Cool, cool, cool. All right, ah, uh, ba dum bum bum, ba dum bum. Launch pad. Whoa. I'm for like a neighing land creature. I quickly ruined my brave Kerbal. It only takes a brave Kerbal to ride this four booster beast past the Mun. Huh. That's Minimus. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. I think let's go and I don't know do stuff. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna keep bumbling for you guys' entertainment because it's funny. Launchpad had missions, didn't we? Did mission, 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 mission. No. Okay. Huh. 
Hmm. Well, we need to do some research. Although I don't have any research points. How do I get? How do I get research points? Mission Control. Ah, available contracts. How do I do data from Kerbin? Well, the founding principles of Kerbin World First Record Keeping Society is to continue to advance the frontiers of science. We still have unchecked items on our list of records to break and I'd like to change that. Quick, crew report for launching. It's fine. Any of the lights on the control panel or flash and just give it a swift kick. Recover or transmit any science experiment data from Kerbin to achieve this goal. Launch our first vessel. That one I like. Nobody has any space records yet. If you would probably be best to just start up by getting something off the launch pad. Uh, let's start this one with a bang. A very controlled bang. Preferably. Trivial. Let's well, first special off the launch pad or the runway to achieve this goal. We'll accept that contract. Alright. So we got to put something together. Let's build ourselves a rocket. Alright. We want to start with the Mark 1 command pod because it's all we got. We need a parachute so I don't have to keep hiring... Kerbals. Whoop. Uh, there we go. And set to two. Can I set these to two? Ooh, no, we cannot. Okay. Woo. There we go. Whoops. And we need some engine to get the flea. Whoop. I do that. And that's a very, very basic, but uh, you'll do. Uh, actually, let's just l open. Don't save. Bum, bum, bum. Huh. That's interesting. I don't have my one I made. Whatever. Basic. One Kerbal Rocket. We'll save it. Uh, let's see if I open. There it is, right there. All right. Well, let's go ahead and launch this baby. I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're going to do it. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Did I not say oops? Boop a doop boop boop. There we go. All right, we ready? Let's do this. Skadoosh! Up and up and up we go! Fuck it. Stage in it. We're at stage. What's this? I don't know what I'm doing. We, did, we get, got our contracts achieved, though. I need some more boosters. That's for damn sure if I'm going to do this. Get out of atmosphere. That one booster got us pretty far, though. Probably three would be enough to get us all the way out. Doop -a -doo, doop -a -doo -boo, doo 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 Oh, okay. So it actually steer steers this time. Oh, hoy. Okay. It's trying to keep it aimed upright. It's gonna be kind of hard. It's gonna it's gonna auto correct itself, isn't it? Yep, it is. And there goes the parachute. Ba 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 ba. Well, I'm a lot closer to the facility this time. Alright, come on. Down you go. And 
a thousand meters. Poof, there it goes. Uh, we slow down rapidly. Hello down there! We're here! Come on, land already. Hi there! Hi oh! Cover the vessel! We did it! Da 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 da! Ah! Cover, experiment recovered. Recovery of a vessel that survived the flight. Nice. Nice. Hey, you got some experience. Cool. Alright, well, mission control. Let's go check our actives. Our, uh, archives completed. Launched our first vessel. Cool. Alright, well, let's go hit the research and development. Basic rocketry. Here's just some. Better stuff. Fuel tanks. Nice. Let's do ahead and do that. Now what do you got? You got uh, a thermometer. Antennas. A decoupler. Got it. Yeah, I'll grab that too. Go with some research. Oh, I got more actually. I can't afford any of this though. Oh, I can get survivability. Heat shields, radiators, landing struts, service bay. Mmm. Huh. Interesting. I'm going to hold off on spending on that right now. All right. Which control? What else we got? At the launch site. Hmm. Oh, R&D. Got it. I will definitely accept that. Oh. Uh, the Mark 16 parachute. I'll grab that. Accept. And we'll accept that. Oh, why can't I accept that? Interesting. Must be a limit on how many contracts I can take or something. All right, well, let's go check out the uh, Mark 16. Okay, so this is set to do all of this stuff. Liquid fuel engine. Well, it's ready to go as it is, so I guess we'll just fire it off again. I would like to experiment a little bit more. Coupling. Nah, that's not. Anything I break off, I'm going to have to recover. So, 
Yeah, let's go ahead and launch it. We'll get that done. I should have probably grabbed these contracts with the other one, but... Oops, I forgot to do that again. Scoosh! Alright. And whoopity 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 whoopity. Oh, wow. It's a lot harder to control that when it's not. Okay, so it was behaving like it would normally. Yeah, whoopity 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 whoops interesting I didn't think it would actually fire out at that point and there we go that happened a lot faster than I thought it would I swear, this will be more interesting once I'm not just firing off this basic hunk of crap. <sighs> we get more research, though, getting more parts. I don't feel completely overwhelmed so far. Not that I've done much, but I will definitely go and do the uh, rest of the tutorial stuff off screen, off recording for you guys. Because as much as I need the help with those tutorials, I don't want to make you guys sit through them. At least not with me playing. They definitely are not the most entertaining of things to. To watch. It's interesting, I'm like drifting off to the side this way, like this. Shoo boo 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 hello down there! And we're drifting on down. A shoo ba doo ba da, hoo ba dee he ba doo, hoo ba dee ha, hey ba dee he. Boop ba doo boo. And thousand! Poof, out it comes. I land all the way over here because I was fiddling with the direction. And now I wait for it to land. Which is not the most interesting contracts. Oh, so there was some criteria to the parachute check. Okay. Well, we definitely uh, did right. Good to know. Yeah, we'll just hold on to that, bring the whole thing back, not dump anything, no coupling, none of that, none of that jazz. Yeah, we'll have a couple more uh, contracts done. Granted, there are D contracts, but whatever. Alright, under. And boop! We landed. Oh, wow. We did it. Hooray. Shoobity boo. Boop. Woo. Hoi there. Shoo dee boo, hoo ba dee ba doo hoo. Shoo ba dee boo, shoo ba doo ba doo. I hold off the climb. Whatever. Cover the vessel, and hopefully the kerbal with. Uh, 
There we go. Hey, next. Next. Yeah, recover that, please. Thank you. All right, cool. So, yeah. <laughs> did some contracts. Did some they're really basic ones. I got through a little bit of, of tutorial stuff. Looks like we're doing pretty solid. Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah, there's some interest there's some more difficult ones to do here, so Looks like we got plenty of stuff to do next time. Uh, going forward, I think no, I'm gonna like I said, I'm gonna do, do the tutorials off screen for you guys. So you don't have to watch me go through those, and then we'll go ahead and keep pressing through some contracts, trying to keep building our program up, building the funding, building the research, and we'll see what we can pull off. Other than that, thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.